Well, good evening, everyone. On behalf of Michelle and myself, welcome to the White House. <laughs> President Xi, Madam Peng, members of the Chinese delegation, once again, I want to welcome you as we honor the ties between our nations and our peoples. Michelle,和我本人,欢迎诸位光临白宫。习主席,彭女士,中国代表团的诸位成员,在我们庆祝我们两国和两国人民之间的纽带的时刻,我要再次对诸位表示欢迎。in our visit to China, Michelle and I have experienced the traditions, the culture, the cuisine of a civilization that spans thousands of years. And I understand that in China, there's a saying, food is heaven. I dare not stand in the way of the divine, so I will be brief. <laughs> Today, President Xi and I agreed to expand our cooperation between our two nations. Uh, I know that some in both countries and around the world question whether we can sustain the cooperation that we need and the world needs. I think we can draw encouragement from the ties that have long connected our peoples. I think of the American airmen during the Second World War who went down over China. Chinese villagers sheltered them, fed them, clothed them, and treated their wounds. And decades later, one Chinese man said of the American he saved, he is like the thumb on the hand, and I am like the finger. We are brothers together. I think,在二战中,在中国战场被击落的美国飞行员,中国的村民营救并收留他们,给他们送饭,给他们衣服,给他们治疗伤口。几十年以后,有一位当年曾经营救过美国飞行员的中国老百姓是这样说的。那位美国飞行员是手掌上的拇指,我是手掌上的指头,我们如同兄弟. I think of the ties that are forged every single day and that we've worked to expand in our work today. American tourists in China visiting the Forbidden City and the Great Wall, Chinese tourists visiting our Statue of Liberty and Independence Hall, our students who cross the Pacific to learn from each other, our scientists who discover new treatments together, our health workers who fought Ebola together. I think there will be times where there are differences between our two countries. Uh, that's inevitable. There will be times where our interests entirely overlap. Uh, but what I think will be sustaining is the friendship between our peoples, the foundation of the ties between our nations. And just as you say in China that a sea accepts a hundred rivers, 
Our country, together, are stronger as when we accept the diversity and the views and contributions and uphold the rights of all of our peoples. 当然, 有的时候, 我们会有分歧, 这是不可避免的, 有的时候, 我们的利益并不完全重叠, 但是有一是我们两国人民之间的友谊是我们两国之间纽带的基础正如中国成语所说海纳百川当我们接受来自我们所有人民的多样化的观点和贡献并捍卫他们的权利时我们的国家就会变得更加强壮 so I propose a toast 所以我想 to the people of China and the people of the United States, may they work together like fingers on the same hand in friendship and in peace. Gan 共同合作 干杯! Zhen 向在座的各位朋友，并通过你们向所有关心、支持中美关系发展的美国各界人士致以诚挚的问候。Mr. President and Mrs. Obama, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good evening. It gives me great pleasure to attend this grand dinner. On behalf of the Chinese delegation and in the name of my wife and myself. I wish to extend heartfelt thanks to you, Mr. President, and to Mrs. Obama. I also extend my cordial greetings to all the friends present and through you to all those across American society who take a strong interest in China-U.S. relationship and support its growth. Well, 一路走来，从西海岸到东海岸，我深深地感到，美国人民同中国人民一样，都对彼此怀有友好的情谊，都对深化中美合作抱有殷切期盼。My state visit to the United States is an unforgettable journey. From the West Coast to the East Coast, what strikes me most is that the American people have a lot of goodwill toward the Chinese people, and they hope much more can be accomplished through enhanced China-U.S. cooperation. I want to assure you that such goodwill is fully reciprocated by the Chinese people. From today, 我同奥巴马总统三度会面，我们就事关中美关系以及世界和平与发展的重大问题，坦诚深入的交换意见，达成重广泛的重要共识，取得了积极的成果。Since yesterday evening, I have had three meetings with President Obama. We had candid and in-depth exchange of views 
on China-US relations and the major issues that are vital to world peace and development. And we reached broad and important agreement. Our discussion has yielded many positive outcomes. 邓小平先生说：“中美两国关系将会在新的历史条件下得到重大的发展。三十多年来，中美关系历经风雨，砥砺前行，取得了非凡成就。我坚信，中美关系的明天一定会更加美好。” Thirty-six years ago. During his visit to the United States, Mr. Deng Xiaoping predicted that China-U.S. relations will make major progress under new historical conditions. Bracing against wind and rain, our relations have forged ahead and made extraordinary achievements in the past 30 years and more. I am convinced that the future of China-U.S. relations will be even more bright. 今天上午，我的夫人和米歇尔女士参观了美国国家动物园的大熊猫馆。她回来告诉我，参观过程中，美国孩子们对大熊猫的喜爱，对大熊猫故乡中国的好奇和向往，令她深受感染。我很赞同他说的一句话。中美友谊的种子已经在这些孩子们的心中生根发芽。This morning, my wife and Mrs. Obama visited the panda house at the National Zoo. She later told me that she was deeply touched by the American kids' love of panda and their curiosity about and the fondness for China, the home of panda. My wife said at the event, the seeds of China-US friendship have already taken root in the hearts of the kids. I cannot agree more with her. 尊敬的奥巴马总统和夫人、女士们、先生们、朋友们，中国古人说：“为者长成，行者长治。”林肯总统呢也说过。预测未来最好的办法就是去创造未来。让我们坚持相互尊重、相互借鉴，把双方愧疚的蓝图一步一步变成现实，以创新的精神谱写中美关系新的历史篇章。Mr. President and Mrs. Obama, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. As an ancient Chinese saying goes, only those who take actions can achieve their goal. Only those who stride forward can reach their destination. President Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Let us continue to respect and learn from each other, turn our blueprint into reality, and write in a creative way a new historic chapter in China-U.S. relations. 最后我提议，为中美两国人民的友谊，为中美两国繁荣昌盛、人民幸福，为奥巴马总统和夫人以及在座的各位朋友的健康，干杯。In closing, let me propose a toast to the friendship between Chinese and American peoples, to the prosperity of China and the United States and the happiness of our two peoples, and to the health of President and Mrs. Obama and all the friends present. Cheers.